you're welcome. So I keep hearing about this uh, red mercury thing and I didn't know what it was about. So I put it to the test and this is what I find out. So red mercury is this mystical substance with extraordinary properties. And making it is uh, still kind of an uh, alchemist uh, trade secret. But uh, here are some of its uh, main property. It instantly colored water with this purplish reddish color. It is somewhat radioactive as seen here. It is of course invisible in a mirror. On this uh, time-lapse uh, video here, it can be seen uh, melting snow after only a few minutes. And, and when passing uh, over electronic devices, it has this, uh, this curious effect. Also, if you mess with it a little too much, it'll catch fire. That's, uh, that is not a toy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this presentation of uh, Red Mercury. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bullshit. I mean, come on. Is this a channel for conspiracy theorists and alchemists, flat earther and lizard people, contrails, vaccines, Kennedy assassination, Bigfoot, Loch Ness and UFO bullshit? Of course I lied. It's a made up story that was created to keep you busy and entertain and flush out nuclear smugglers. The uh, this solution is just silly potassium permanganate in water. Radioactivity cannot be induced from chemical reaction. It requires a neutron flux. And uh, this is just a video trick. I'm not gonna waste any more time on this uh, video effect. I already demonstrated before. And this is uh, this is just a BS time lapse video that anybody can do at home. It's just silly. Science is the search for truth, trying to understand nature and make reliable predictions, reproducible and verifiable. The power of science lies in this reproducibility. In other words, what's true here today, it's true tomorrow on the other side of the world or even the universe. Red mercury is just like one of those things that can easily be pushed aside with a little bit of research, a tiny bit of thinking, and some common sense back to the rank of some 19th century con artist trying to sell you a cure for baldness or infertility. So can you trust what I'm doing on this channel as being verifiable? Of course you can. All you have to do is recreate the same circumstances and you will obtain the same results. That's the difference between conspiracy nonsense and the real world science. And if I lose view counts, subscribers, and get a few nasty comments, well, that's all right, because the only thing that matters to me, the search for scientific truth and the fight against ignorance. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you like it. Consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Damn it.